what questions on how to maintain a sterile environment during surgical procedures? Should the documentation be done by the surgeons themselves or the camera be handed over to the dental assistants? This is Dr. Mayur Dawda from Dental Photography School. This video is for all those who wish to achieve good documentation during their surgical procedures and while doing so not lead to cross contamination. For this you shall need a pair of powder free sterile gloves preferably the biggest size that's available in the market, a pair of scissors, a DSLR and a macro lens, a 100mm macro lens preferably, a sectional mirror or a full arch mirror depending upon the area of your surgery. Uh, you need to keep in mind when you select your mirror is that the mirrors have to be contra-angled, rigid as well as front surface coated. This is the reason why we are using the sectional mirror from the magic box by Dent Photography School. You should also require a microfiber cloth. This is because during surgeries, uh, if your mirror gets coated with blood or saliva, you should not clean it with a gauze piece, cotton or a tissue paper. You always have to clean it with a microfiber cloth which is auto -clean. You need to follow these simple steps. Step number one. Firstly, remove the neck strap of your DSLR like we have already done so. Step number two. You need to increase the brightness of your DSLR to the maximum like we have already done. That is your step number two. Step number three is we have to achieve the ideal settings for documentation like we have already done so. But we shall show it to you once again. We begin with administration of anesthesia. We usually wait for 5-10 minutes after administration of anesthesia for the local anesthesia to act. It is at this point of time that we will be setting our DSLR and the macro lens for our image. Before we begin we need to visualize the area that is in question. Over here I will be recording only a part of the maxillary as that is only a quadrant and hence I have already set my magnification ratio at 1 is to 2. If you want to understand the magnification ratios in detail, we recommend that you read our blog on magnification ratios on our website that's www.dentalphotographyschool.in. Before you set your magnification ratio using the focusing ring, please make sure that your lens is on manual focus or MF and not on AF. Once the magnification ratio is set, we begin with removing the autoclaved sectional mirror and we proceed towards recording the first image of our surgical field. At this point of time, please understand that the settings on our DSLR are completely arbitrary. So, this is the first image that we have recorded using these settings. We shall be making changes with respect to exposure based on our exposure triangle knowledge and understanding and we shall be recording one more image like this so if you want to focus please move ahead and forwards when you get you make an image so this is the second image that we have got using uh, the settings and our knowledge with respect to our exposure triangle I think we will require one more shot so that we can get the best image as per our knowledge of exposure triangle. So let's try once again and try to achieve the best image for our surgical field. So this is the final image that we have got and we think it's perfect for our surgical procedure at this point of time. We shall now begin with covering our DSLR with the sterile glove so that we do not cause any cross contamination during our surgical procedure. This is how it is done. Before we begin with covering the DSLR with a sterile glove, please ensure that your DSLR is off and your flash is closed. Now we take the first sterile glove and we put it on the right side of our DSLR grip and we extend it onto the left hand side like this. Please ensure that the viewfinder is not covered 
at any point of time if it gets covered you just have to remove it from the viewfinder like this so this is how it looks so you have already covered your DSLR with a sterile glove on places where you are going to be touching the DSLR so this is your shutter release button you know most of the buttons that you use if you happen to use or touch the DSLR's left hand side you also have a glove on the left hand side like this now we come to the macro lens covering the macro lens we take the second glove powder free glove and we slide it over the macro lens like this just make sure that you don't rotate the magnification ratio at all so just make you can you can put the DSLR vertical and you can put the second star glove onto the lens like this now we have these finger extensions all you need to do about the finger extensions is cut them loose excess glove material coming over your lens you can just roll it back and your DSLR is ready to go please ensure to confirm that your magnification ratio has not changed now you can put your DSLR on and you can also put your flash on like this and just confirm that you are ready to shoot once the DSLR is ready, I suggest that you change your own gloves, then you can start with your surgeries. Let's just see if we can record the same shot with our covered glove system. This is the shot that we have made using the covered once you have done the surgery, you can cut the gloves and remove them off. You can remove the memory card and transfer the data onto your laptop. This is how it was to be done. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel that's called Daily Photography School. We also have a page on Facebook called Daily Photography School. If you wish to subscribe to our newsletters, we suggest that you log on to www.dailyphotographyschool.in. Thank you so much.